Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So it's been a while since I've shown you guys my construction update. So I want to show you guys how I'm doing right now and what I've done, which is a little bit more efficient, what my gains are, how my cog builds are and what my refinery is doing. So let me hop into the video guys and let me show you guys what, how is it going. So first of all, let's go and check the construction table. So this is my cog setup right now. As you can see, all my characters are above level. 70 that means i can actually create the ultimate cogs i've created most of them but i still have a few that i still want to upgrade as you can see i still have some super cogs which i am trying to uh, replace with the uh, ultimate cogs but i haven't gotten any luck yet on getting these upgraded as you can see these ones have build rate and build rate uh, helps us get more build rate on our characters helping us create things uh, more faster in the building tab so that's why i have this set up right now right now i have 66.8k build rate which means the speed which we can build on the build tab for the towers and we have 717 percent player xp bonus this is really important at the beginning guys because if you want to level up your character really fast you need to make sure that you have a lot of XP cogs in order to do this. The flag rate is at 6.47k right now. And I only have these four activated as these cost 17.5 million to level up. I have calculated it and from today I will probably need around 117 days to unlock these four squares. So at this pace it's going to take really long. I haven't bought any of the additional bonuses in the gem store that helps us upgrade these and I'm not planning to do that because as you guys know I'm basically a free to play player so I will not be buying those for now so let's hop into these guys right now as you can see they all have more than 25k construction XP which gives us a massive increase in XP in order to level up and our maestro which is iLucky has 32k because he has a boost in getting XP higher so this is the setup that I have for these guys as you can see it's pretty neat and we are leveling quite nice. You want to have your squire as your main builder as you can see my squire has 5.6k build rate per hour. So that's the best you can get right now is doing it on a squire. The remaining characters all have around 2.5k. For building the cogs I only have two characters placed here because it takes 10k for the first cog and the second cog will take more uh, build rate to create so you have to make sure that every time that you get around the 10k that you click it really fast in order to get a cog otherwise it will take really long to be able to fill this port if you're having trouble on putting your setup guys i check the build rate you can also check the flag rate and the xp rate but importantly is the build rate right now try to get these ultimate cogs which gives us more uh, xp more build rate and as you can see we have here this line giving us build rate for all the cogs which are on this line giving us nearly 1k on certain cogs which is really really efficient in my opinion if you guys have another build i would be interested to see what you guys will put it in the comment section below i'm really interested in, to know how your build rate right now is guys so let's check the statues that we have and the shrines so for now as you guys know my printer is already maxed out, our talent book library, we are working on it. We are still at level 29, but I'm not really doing much with the talent library. We are also upgrading our death node, which isn't maxed yet because I've been kind of lazy to do this one. We have our salt lick, which is also already maxed out. Our chest is now at level 21, so we only need four more and then we will be having the max storage possible in the game. And the Cost Cruncher I've upgraded a little bit because it's quite expensive to level up to be honest. For the remaining prayer towers they are still leveling up. These are taking a little bit longer now because the XP required for them is a lot higher. My Pulse Mage is at level 34. My Fireball Lover is at level 33. The Boulder Roller is at level 32. The Frozen Malone is 24. The Storm Colored is 21. The Party Starter is also 21. And the Kraken cosplayer is level 9. As you can see the requirements to level up these right now are like 8.43 million for the next level. And that's why it's taking a long 
time to level up even though I have 66.8k of build rate per hour. For my shrines I haven't leveled them up a little bit because I was doing other stuff so um, I'm focusing on my towers for the prayer mini game so I, that's why I haven't leveled up my shrines but as you can see this one is level 62 we have the incation shrine level 43 the crystal shrine is level 33 the pantheon shrine is level 12 the clover shrine is level 7 summer reading shrine is level 5 crescent shrine is level 1 and the undead shrine is also level 1 so these as you can see from left to right the lowest are always on the right because they take a lot more time to level up as for the skills guys there are not many skills for the squire to level up this build that i am using right now is a combination to fight and to get build rate xp so as you can see my damage is not that high but it gets enough gains for what i need right now and the skills that you want to level up on your third square tab are the refinery throw i recommend you to get this one to 120 i haven't upgraded this one yet because i don't have any points but at 120 you will get an extra cycle which will be 18 instead of 17. you want to upgrade your red redox rates as high as possible because you will get more build rate based on the amount of red sand that you have in your storage box you want to increase your sharpest saw which gives us more construction xp those are the main three that you want to upgrade with your squire and the remaining points can be spread out throughout your combat skills in order to make a hybrid fighter and construction character so let me show you guys the statues that i have right now which will also help a little bit with the gains that you get on your construction character so right now you guys know my statues are already all golden and my seesaw statue right now is level 23 in world 3 you will be getting a lot of these statues which will help you increase also your construction level fast so that's it for the update for my construction table guys i hope you guys enjoyed this and if there's something else that you would like to see put it in the comment section below and i'll try to reply as soon as i can thanks for watching and see you on the next one